Hey guys, so this is a different angle because today I want to reorganize my bookshelves. I love how they look at the moment, but there are just some books that just don't fit on there anymore, so I have to shift things like around and I really want to change this top shelf as well. So that's my plan, kind of. I not sure really what I'm going to do. I'm just going to try a few things out. Maybe I'm just going to go back to how they used to be, but yeah, we'll see. Let's get into the video. So this is what they look like at the moment. I have lots of Harry Potter stuff on top in here. This I really want to change up. I really love how this Rick Riordan shelf looks. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but yeah, this is what they look like at the moment. As you can see, I have a couple of books here and there that don't fit on there anymore. So yeah, that's the plan. I also have like a couple of smaller bookshelves, but we'll see if I'll end up changing anything um, about them. <laughs> what it looks like so far so I've organized all of them by height I think I'm going to keep the top shelf like this because I really love how it looks actually but yeah obviously I'm going to rearrange these further than I also took all of the paperbacks off so yeah it's a whole lot of a mess i also took down my um fairy lights just because they got in the way but i i don't like when like they're just like at random i love like the straight line that's like super satisfying to me but i just need to have some other like color coordination or something okay some time has passed i've changed a little bit like i changed that shelf right there i added death note not sure if i'm going to keep it like that but just for now that's how it looks and i also organized my paper bags by height and I have no idea what I'm going to do, honestly. I have some ideas, but like organizing it by color would have been just um, a lot easier, but oh well. Thank you. 
I last showed you my bookshelves. I just couldn't find any motivation to continue on with this reorganization. And also, you know, film it. But I've done a few changes off camera. So this is what my shelves are looking like. I think not too much has changed of these shelves at least. And also not this black one over here. But I did make some changes here. So I think this looks pretty cool. I wanted to have my V. Schwab's book all together. I think it looks really cool with the color combination. And then I moved this shelf from over here. So I just kind of switched these. And then I'm not too sure about this middle shelf yet. I have to figure something out for that. And then this is this other shelf. Oh, and then I have my Cassandra Clare shelf here. I think I'm going to keep it that way as well. But everything else is still kind of a mess. Well, I guess the Percy Jackson shelf is going to stay, stay kind of the same. But yeah, everything else is kind of still a mess. that you, I'm sure you know um, a lot of people have it but I have almost no space left on my bookshelves and I'm really not happy with how it's looking at the moment so I'm really hopeful that this is going to help me and I'm going to build this now so let's go <laughs> filling up this TBR card and this is what it looks like at the moment and then this is how it looks on the sides and on the back and I think it's important to note that two books won't really fit on one of these if that makes sense so for example I wasn't able to put this book like right here because it's just too long so I think that's important to note, but, you know, it's okay. I figured it out. Some books that I really don't care about seeing. Um, and here is this. Actually, one of two of my favorite books. Um, but, you know, I just have nowhere to put these tiny paperbacks. And then I have my side books over here. And Illuminae back here. 
here are my Lucinda Riley books. Hopefully I'm going to read one of them in 2021. And then here I kind of have my Lainey Taylor shelf. So here's Strange the Dreamer, Music of Nightmares, and then I got my deluxe edition of Daughter of Smoke and Bone yesterday. So yeah, that was really cool. And then the box set. And then here's just Gemina, Hunger Games, Tokyo Ghoul. Unfortunately, I had to move this because I didn't have any space on the shelf that it was originally on. And then down here, I'm not too sure if I'm going to keep it like that. But I have The Binding and The Betrayals, both very stunning covers, and I didn't have any space for them on my actual bookshelves. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like this, but for now that's how it looks. And back here I just have my... This is a bookish tin um, that we got in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone box. And I put all of my art prints in there. And then back here I have... Well, The Secret History in German. I think I'm going to unhaul that because I ordered the English edition, but back here I also have my book sleeves that we got in the Loom Crate boxes. I think it's been like four months now, so I can't even process it right now. I still have other bookshelves around my room, but I'm going to show you that in my bookshelf tour. A lot of people have asked me about that, but I think it's going up at the beginning of 2021, so keep an eye out for that. But for now, I'd say I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye, guys.